So we're going to paint this ladybug. And the ladybug is warm color and the background is cool colors. We're going to keep that in mind in the color temperature. And there's a triangle on the top left corner. So I'm going to remain the triangle. What about the triangle on the lower right corner? We're going to let go of this triangle. This is one of the things that we haven't talked about in the previous classes. You have the freedom to change things. Freedom to add things have the freedom to take things out from the picture. Because of this kind of both hard edges, uh, the similar shape, it's kind of redundant, repeating. So we're going to take this out. So pretending this uh, leaf is bigger. So that the leaf is all the way coming off the edge. Yeah, you can make up your own story, right? So now, let's say, where are we going to put the main object? It's the ladybug. The ladybug is about a little bit off uh, from the middle to the left. It's about here. And vertically, it's about the middle. So like right here, right? I just draw the biggest shape of the ladybug, include the head and the body. Because why? I want to make sure the whole ladybug sitting in the correct space. And also the ladybug in the, in the size that I like before I go into divide it into the head and the body and into smaller portion. Does that make sense, right? So if the ladybug in the wrong place and you start drawing the details, it's not going to come up the way that you like it, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's see. Hmm. I think the ladybug can be a little bit smaller like this, a little shorter. Okay, maybe a little bit higher. Composition is almost everything. You start with composition and end with composition, right? Okay, now I'm happy with this. Now I'm going to divide this into two areas. This is the head the space for the head, that's the body, All right? Cool. Like this, that's the body. And now I cut a little bit off in the shape and almost remain to very similar as a continuous, like the whole big shape. Now I divide this again for the head. Okay, and have a, a two green shape over here. And there is a, another two green shape over here. You see, I draw it a little bit smaller and smaller shape. It's pretty easy, have the confidence. Like that. Now, that's good. Have a, now looking into closer and closer Okay, have another shape underneath. Oh, I have a leg. I can see a leg coming out from here. Look at the direction of the leg. Okay, now I'm going to draw a little big shadow. The catch the shadow underneath over here. Now the ladybug is, is there. Now I'm going to put the black shape right here. There's a one dot and another dot in between here and there and right in the middle, move a little bit more to the left, right here. Look, thinking about the simple proportion. And from here to here, there's a little bit closer to the edge. There's another dot. This dot a little bit smaller than this dot. Right? And there's another dot over here. Like that. That's cool. There's a little uh, light yellow color over here. A little ye light yellow color over here too. Cool. If you capture those shapes correctly, and the people would automatically connect with their idea of a ladybug. So you don't have to think about, oh, I have to draw a ladybug. I have to draw a ladybug. And you don't even know what ladybug look like. So you panic.
Okay, there's some light color over here. I draw a little light color. And also I'm gonna put the light color on the top of the back. I just softly draw it, remind myself like this. Good. All right, this is light and the other is a little bit darker. So now I'm gonna add the water drop, a uh, little water drop over here. So inside the water drop, kind of complicated, it looks like. There's a little darker color over here, a lighter color at the bottom. So, and I'm not intent to use white color for this painting. And even though you see some light, and some people directly, when they see light color, directly think about white color. And that's natural, especially when they get used to painting other mediums versus the, the mix, the white for all the light colors. But that's just fine. Uh, but actually the most beautiful white is not from the white paint. For watercolor, the most beautiful white is the paper. <laughs> so you want to reuse the paper as the white color. So which is you don't paint anything or paint it very thin so it become light or white, right? Okay, I think we got it. We got this. So where are we going to start? It's a big question. Where are we going to start the painting? Are you going to start with the, the outside or start from the ladybug? Huh? Starting from inside, and you start from outside. Okay, uh, who should I listen to? Starting from inside outside, I would say it doesn't matter. Because the first round, you just want to put all the color, except the light area, keep it light. Put all the color on the paper, and then we're going to do the adjustment. So it doesn't really matter, I put the color over here, I put the color outside first. Or you can start from the left top corner to all the way to the right top corner. Or from this side to this side if you are left handy. So it doesn't really matter what you, what you start with. So let's say we're gonna put a little red color here for now, and then we're gonna go in outside. But be a little careful, if you start with the color over here, when you paint it close to the shape, it is still wet. So these two opposite color is going to merge together, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put a little bit color over here, but I'm not going to use lots of water. So it's going to dry faster. How about that? That's the plan, right? So when you paint watercolor, you always have some kind of plan in your mind. But you're going to react to the situations at every step. You can change your plan as you go. I know that the final red color is not going to be like this light. Okay, so I'm going to put a little red color. Actually, this color has a little yellow. It's not totally red. So I'm going to put a little color over here. When you see the black dot, the dark color dot, don't worry about it. It's going to be darker than uh, the red colors or the orange color, so you feel free to paint over the dark color. But when you come to the yellow, light yellow color, you'll be a little careful. You have to leave it, right? Otherwise, you have to use a lifting off technique to take it out. Okay, now I'm going to paint it over here. See this? The color is not a lot of wet. It's coming down over here. When you come to this soft edge, I'm going to add a little bit water. So it kind of gradually turn into a little lighter like this. I also use the middle of the brush because at the tip has more color. Over here has less color. So you can use this to have create a twin transition from a lighter color to darker color, like uh, moving over here, like that. Cool. Okay, now I'm going to add the 
a little bit more colors get a little yellow a little more color and then I'm gonna put it over here and make it a little bit solid it just putting a little color over here like a, a starting point a little bit red this area has more red right like this that's good and actually at the bottom over here I can fill in that that white gap because this color after it drives is pretty, it's pretty still going to pretty light and over here has a little bit more red so I'm going to put a little red color here and it trans transition to the orange color like this okay now this is the first step I'm gonna let go all the color just blend it in just with the clean brush like this this is my first step right so next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna start working into the background and when I get into closer to this area and it probably close to dry I'm going to remove some of the excess pretty wet area okay now I'm going to change my brush because I'm dealing with a very big space it is what color is it is a lot of green colors but the background doesn't have to be really green so I'm going to make it a little bit like a dirty dark colors. Okay, here you go. I need more water for the brush, so the hair is feel more comfortable. Okay, here you go. Take more color. A lot more color. Get lots of space. So. I'm going to take a little yellow color right here, I have it, but that color looks a little bit too intense, too bright. So I want to take, it has a little bit red color over here, you can see that the, all the gray color have red colors. And what I'm going to do, hmm, even this a little red orange color here, I'm going to take it from here, take a little bit more water ready now start from the top here star painting around the water drop and the edge over here I want it to be soft edge so I'm gonna have it like a little wet All right and I painted that so I'm gonna have a little bit lighter color for the leaf so the lighter color is gonna have a little bit more yellow I'm gonna take some yellow at the corner over here right like this maybe a little bit more water to so make it lighter okay a little bit more water now here we go and I'm going to just touch the edge so the edge would be soft like this here we go here we go going all the way to the edge now the ladybug color is already dry so I'm going to paint it into this gap. Here we go. Keep going. And for a little lake, I'm going to lift off uh, that space. It's a very tiny space. So I'm going to paint it over. Like this. And we're pretending the leaf is pretty big. So it's going to all the way off to this side. Right? So let's see. and have a very blue water drop at the front like this keep going 
meter here I'm coming down and the legs are a little bit darker so I can paint it over in the mind you're always thinking about what is this lighter what is darker okay so it's darker or in even in the same kind of colors it's darker you are okay to paint it over and it is lighter than the colors or uh, even totally different kind of colors uh, you probably will leave it white it's a simple thinking I'm gonna let go of the water drop right next to the ladybug now we finished the first round so what we're gonna do now create the, the shape for the catch the shadow so that can be a little wet that will be okay so let's see and get a little bit more blue colors in here and if you want to be darker most likely it would be blue and red that's pretty dark maybe a little warmer in the dark color you will be warmer okay now let's see what we're gonna do we're gonna just paint it in this space like this observation okay look look closely so you can see okay here we go all right here we go watercolor can be very relaxing um, you know if you're not kind of anxious uh, to get it done I have a place to go you kind of like can enjoy the whole process now I have the darker color looks like uh, underneath uh, the ladybug make the ladybug look like on top of something without the catch the shadow the ladybug could be in the air right okay what I want to do I'm gonna get a little bit green color on this side and soften A little bit of this transition okay now that's good so I'm gonna deepen some area in the background so it's good even I just use the same color to do it again it accumulate the color uh, together it look darker you see that so you don't have to add another magic colors could be just the same color okay here we go now I can create the separation between the background and the leaf a little more now that's good now maybe over here I have a little bit uh, texture at the front of the leaf okay the green color keep going through that looks like uh, the fiber uh, the texture of the leaf surface right like that make it more believable is the leaf now what we're gonna do we're gonna work it into the uh, the water drop now I'm gonna take the same color over here you can see just observe in here I have a little bit shape uh, water drop looks like a glass ball it actually see through and also uh, reflect the color in the from the surrounding the top over here is this round shape it actually reflected the color from the sky so we have a little bit blue colors so I'm gonna leave that for now and over here this water drop I'm gonna soft, soften the edge just use this because a little bit kind of out of focus so I'm gonna make that a little bit softer so use this lifting off technique get the right color the, the right value it will look like water drop so now I'm gonna put a little color come to this water drop and the middle I reflected the color of the leaf and the top has a little bit more complicated reflected color in the background reflected color in the sky and the bottom over here have some 
put it light colors actually as the bottom of the looks like glass ball. So on the top over there, I'm going to have a little blue colors. I'm going to get a little blue color here and then get the dark color around it. Like that. And come to here. Have the same blue color for the sky and also a little bit at the bottom. And maybe not so much dry, so I'm going to soften it. Okay, that's good. And over here, I'm going to lift up a little shape. So it looks, make it look like some area is very soft. So you more, might want to use the lifting up technique. So it make it look soft, softer. All right? And I'm going to leave another one over here. Be patient. You just, just use the tip of the brush. That looks good. Now it's almost looked like water drop. Especially you know it's water drop. So I'm going to have a little blue colors and paint it around the edge over here. And now I'm going to extend it to the outside. What I want to do now, just use the clean brush. Just soften. Okay. Now I'm going to set, I will say the final color for the ladybug. First, I'm going to set the red color and then I'm going to set a little yellow color. Okay, set the red color in here first. All right, cool. Okay, get a little yellow color on this side. So kind of like a orange color. And coming down here. Cool. Now the color much brighter as you do it the second time. Okay. Now I'm gonna have a little darker colors right underneath over here. You see, this color already drive. So I'm gonna leave the edge to be a little bit lighter. Do you see it? Now I'm gonna move my attention to, let's set a little green color, light green color on this spot first. And a little bit green color here. A little bit green color over here. Because the next color I'm gonna place it in, in uh, for the head, it will be pretty dark color. So I'm gonna set a little bit blue color. Just the blue color. You can see that everything facing to the top is a little blue color. Do you know why? Because of the sky. Because the sky color, right? So anything over here, it actually have a little blue colors because facing to the sky. So give that a little blue color. And over here too, you have a little blue color. So put those color in. And we can see here I have a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna use this color. It just lift up, remove the color underneath over here to create shape. You see how easy the watercolor painting can be. It's not complicated. It's everything. As soon as you have patience, you can do it. So I'm gonna make with the dark, dark purple colors, it would do it as the replacement for the black. And this, get more red, more red. And now introduce some blue colors. You see, it looks like still a little bit more blue colors. You see how dark the color would be? I'm gonna get a little bit water and mix into that. If it's not dark enough at one time, and you can do it at a second time. Okay, now we're gonna start over here. Ooh, beautiful. 
Okay, let's see. Be a little careful about the light shape. The only thing you need to leave is the white shape. The light color shape. Anything darker than that color, you don't need to, right? So good. Now we're going to give it a little bit more blue. Looks like the color can be a little cooler. So I'm gonna keep going. Here I have a little light colors, so I'm gonna keep leave that. I think that's good for the top. Now I'm gonna continue to the bottom over here. Use the same color. Here we go. Painting around the light green color. And now I'm gonna apply some dark color for the spots. Right, a spot over here too. Do so you see the ladybug coming to life? Mm -hmm. And good, and on this side, coming over here. It's good, and coming up a little darker. Just pay attention. Look before you paint. And over here have a little bit blue colors and a little darker color at the bottom here. Like this. Now, we need to have a little lighter blue color, right? A little lighter blue colors. Here, this go. This color over here. So you don't want to say, oh, you're shiny. Doesn't really help when we paint. We just have to say, oh, light blue color. That's it. It's easy, right? Mm -hmm. How can I make it look shiny? Oh, wow, you cannot make it look shiny. <laughs> but you can, if you use the right color in the right place, it will look shiny. The magic. This is our visual language. That's all we can do. Like this. And over here, you can paint the same color, light blue color. But we probably even remove some colors. I have a, a feeling a little shiny. So I'm going to remove the color from here coming down. Now we'll come back take a look. This, we need a little bit darker color for the water drop. Okay, now it's pretty easy. Get a little dark color here. Little bit dark color on the top. And 